Okay, I thought I'd give you an update on my awful day um, that happened a week last Monday on my first day back at work. So in a nutshell, what I happened is I, I practically broke down on the A1, okay? So I was driving to work, first day back, done my lateral flow, packed my car for going back down to work because I work away. It gets onto the A1 and I've lost my rev. So I've, I've already done a big, big... Well, no, I hadn't just gone onto the A1 actually. I was further down the A1. I was roughly about, i say about an hour from work. So I've done a good two and a half, three hours journey. So I'm heading down and all of a sudden my rev goes in my car and I'm like, what the hell? Dashboard starts flashing with that curly sign. Well, of course, um, it can be anything, can that? Because that's like something to do, I think it's engine, engine management or something. I don't know, I'm not a car mechanic. Uh, anyway, last time I did it, my rev went and it was it ended up being my filter or something to do with these little things that were on my filter. Again, I don't know. He did tell me, but I, I get I get all confused with it. Anyway, um, so sometimes if it happens, I stop and I start the car again. But last time it happened, I had to be towed home from Peterborough. And I think I showed that when I was being towed home. So I was like, oh, God, I can't. First day back at work after, after, after Christmas. So I came off... Stopped it, started it again, almost like a restart on your phone. Tries to get back on the motorway, going up the slip road. You can't believe even the smallest incline, it's like nothing. So I thought, oh, and I tried that three times. I came off again and I came off again. I tried that three times in the end. I rung in work and I said, listen, I can't come in. I've definitely got to get back home. Um, I don't want to be towed home again from Peterborough. Um, I don't want to be caught in that situation again. I need to get home to sort my, my car. So took my car in on the Monday, but of course it was bank holiday, left it there, went back down to work on the Tuesday morning, very early hours in my husband's car. So that means he's stranded at home, but I think quite a few people in the office had COVID, so he wouldn't have been able to go in anyway. <laughs> went back down in my husband's car. He took it in on the Monday. Luckily, the car mechanic I use is absolutely exceptional. I've been with him for 20 odd years and my husband's with him now as well. And uh, so he, he took him home. Anyway... Nine days later. No. Friday. Eleven days. Hang on, let me work that again. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, he picked it up Thursday. Ten days later, I picked my car up. So from Frankie Jack to school, no problems at all. By the way, my friend Sarah has been absolutely amazing all of this and has run Frankie Jack to school every single day because, of course, we have been a carless family and she has been absolutely A1. <sighs> Back on the motorway today. Run my husband's car in because we've had problems with that and that's our tyres done and all sorts. So you wouldn't even believe the kind of money we've spent on cars over this last, uh, you know, 10 days. Heading on the motorway, I really thought my husband was going to go, you're having me on. I said, oh my gosh, it's doing it again. You have no rev. Nothing was flashing up. He's going, oh, it's all right, it's all right. It'll be fine. I went, oh, it's doing it again. Then all of a sudden it flashes up. I can't believe it. You couldn't write it. Now, I've just gone in and dropped his car off to have the tyres, right, before this has happened. Just gone in to drop his car off, so I'm, I'm coming back with him. I've got a bill for, let me tell you, so my car, it was a turbo that went, £991.60. That's how much that was. Uh, going back, that happened, so I've had to go all the way back. It's a sensor that's gone this time, and the little tap light came on as well. They've sorted it, luckily, in a day. Um, so, here I am. And then, we get home, put a wash on, and the washer machine goes kaplunk. You couldn't write it, could you? I'm like, oh my gosh, what? A I mean, I know, I know we're very lucky. You've got to think you're very lucky because you've got your health. But when you hemorrhage that kind of money, that affects your health. <laughs> You're like, oh my lord. So, washing machine can't be fixed till Tuesday. So, I've got a bag of washing in the back that I'm going to have to drop off at my mum's now. Um, so, what a day. What a day. Absolutely unbelievable. So, now I'm waiting for Frankie Jack coming out of school and I'm about to um, run him out because he needs new school shoes. So, it's off to Clark's. <laughs> Anybody else want any money? Would you like some money? 
because it just feels like I'm giving it everybody at the moment. Oh, so anyway, so that's my vlog. <laughs> over and out and i still haven't done that shopping haul vlog for you because i've done an almighty shop in the sales uh wish i hadn't now but i've got a lot of christmas presents and a lot of birthday presents for this year as well i bought now it was 22 but i've got one two three i think it's four extra so i've got about 26 and i've got about 15 uh, birthday presents for this year so i'm already on the roll which i feel really good about because you get excellent presents at a knockdown price which is really good because i have to buy a lot of presents in the year right thank you very much for listening as you always do you're absolutely fabulous and i will see you um on the uh, next vlog please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to write in the comment section below and i would love you to hit that subscribe button i'll see you later